everyone, I hope you've all been doing well. About six weeks ago, I went to Emerald City Comic Con. I meant to make this video like the day after Comic Con, but I got sick and I was out for like a few weeks, but better late than never as I frequently say. The way that I documented Comic Con was not by video. I was mostly just taking pictures. Initially I was planning to take videos and stuff, but then when I got there, it's just like, it's so crowded that if I was like trying to take videos, it would just be really uncomfortable for like three days and I didn't really want to do that. My friend Tiana came with me and she vlogged. That was very good of her. I'm so glad she did. <laughs> so please enjoy this little slideshow with my commentary. And I have a bag full of things that I got for free or no, it was all free. Did not buy a single thing. In fact, I was kind of on a mission to just fill this bag with as many free things as I could find. And it was quite a success, so we'll be going through that at the end of the video. Let the slideshow begin. Ah, the convention center. There were escalators at every turn, which was very nice. Oh, this was like my favorite spot at the whole convention because it was the only place where there were no people. Not that I don't appreciate people. Behold, the sea of humans. There were so many things to buy and so many cool things to look at. One of my favorite parts about the convention was all the creativity that was happening. Everyone there with a booth either made the items that they were selling themselves or they're like working for a creative company. It was just like boom, creative, boom, creative. I was being very inspired. This was the first book sighting. In the little map thing that they give you right when you walk in the door, it was saying that there was like an entire room dedicated to books and Tiana and I were having the hardest time finding it. The whole map was confusing actually because like you have to be an architect to understand the way that they lay out the map and like what all these secret symbols mean. Like this one means door. This one means escalator. It was kind of hard to decipher and we did walk in a lot of circles. <laughs> This was some cool artwork. I think these are called lithographs. I don't even know who those monsters are. I don't know why I took a picture of them. They had backpacks. They had a Captain America shield replica for the low, low price of $900. This is the thing that you take your picture by. They had droids. This was a functioning R2-D2. I think there were two of him wandering around. It's hard to see, but in the left side of the picture, there are like these paintings of General Leia and Admiral Akbar. They're the perfect centerpiece for your home. Here's the book room. The University Bookstore, which is a bookstore chain that we have around here in Seattle, brought like their entire store and a few tables and they just kind of set it up and you could literally shop there. I thought that was pretty funny. I was so excited about this Ursula cosplayer. I've always been really impressed by the people who do Ursula. There was one in person! A real live Ursula at my real live first Comic Con. It was awesome. This was another show floor. This one was pretty intense. You can tell by the um, like orc looking thing right in front that there was a lot going on here. And there was a Pop Funko booth back there and it was not just a booth, it was like a 20 foot high wall filled with every Pop Funko you can imagine. And by the end of every day, it was completely cleared out. It was craziness. I was a big fan of the ceiling in this room. I think it's very cool, very square looking. There's another Pop Funko wall. Very artistic shot of this nice man. Thank you, nice man, for letting me take your picture. I know you don't know that I did it. This was just like a 20 foot high wall of t-shirts. And it's not just a wall, it's a fortress you can walk inside and keep shopping. This is the inside of it. And they have hats and they have every shirt that you could ever want or dream of or not want. It would be fun to be a vendor at one of these things. Oh, this was a cool booth. I mostly liked TV shows that they were focusing on. So these were nice. Very beautiful. This was a fun vantage point. I think this was on the third or the fourth floor, but you're just like standing there and then you look over and it's like a sheer drop to your doom. And there were some Girl Scout cookie boxes mysteriously hidden behind a game booth. And I'm still questioning those. Here's a selfie we took with R2. Here's another empty hallway. 
big fan, as I said. This is looking down from the staircase, and it's the line of people to the right waiting to go into the main stage. I'm sure you recognize Eleven from Stranger Things, but this is a Pop Funko. This is way bigger than any of the other Pop Funkos that I've ever seen. This was a cool Star Wars exhibit that they were doing. It was like a walkthrough thing. So you got to look at costumes that local costumers have made. They've done replicas of costumes from the movie and these are them. Some of them were replicas at least, if they all are. That's very impressive. Oh, there's Darth Maul. That was my favorite one. He looks very scared. Oh yeah, they had a Lego exhibit too. This was awesome. This is Lego Batman. That was at least five feet tall, maybe six. Then there were all these pieces of just art made in Legos, signed by the actors who play the characters portrayed in the picture. It's very complicated. Here we are at the Guardians of the Galaxy panel. So that's Sean Gunn, who plays the body of Rocket Raccoon in Guardians, or Kirk in Gilmore Girls. This panel was so funny because it was a Guardians of the Galaxy panel, and it was him and it was Michael Roker. He's the guy who plays Yondu. The fans got to line up, go to a microphone, ask their questions to the actors, and it totally got hijacked by Gilmore Girls those questions. It was quite funny. Now I'm gonna go back to the Jeremy Renner panel because after Guardians of the Galaxy was Jeremy Renner. So I didn't get a lot of good pictures of him. They're very grainy because we were sitting way in the back of the room and it seated like thousands of people. He was really funny. Very down to earth. Starting on day two, this is the best Bumblebee cosplay I never knew I wanted to see. Here's back at the Star Wars exhibit. They made helmet replicas. They made Ewoks. They were so cute. There's Darth Maul again. He really does look very scared. Had to take a picture of some actual comics because it is Comic-Con. There was a book in a display case and I don't think it's an actual book, but I think it's just the jacket of Iron Gold. By Pierce Brown. I'm so excited for that book. You could buy movie posters if you wanted to, buy movies themselves. There was this dude selling leather journals. There's a wall full of fake ID badges from movies. This art was super cool. It looked like etched glass, only it was etched in gold ink or something. It looked holographic. It was awesome. The pictures do not capture it at all. They looked like they should have been pieces in a museum. This guy was selling like everything that you can think of made of leather. This person was selling themed hats. Here's R2-D2 in robot form. Just another average day at Comic-Con. This was at the Millie Bobby Brown panel. That was a really fun one. She is so cute and I didn't realize that she was English. thought she was American. Her accent was so good. She even demonstrated her accent on stage. It was really funny. She said that she learned it from watching Hannah Montana. That's probably where I learned my American accent too. Oh, and this. The moment we've all been waiting for. This was the Stan Lee panel. When I saw that he was gonna be here, I came like this close to buying an autograph with him. I decided against it, but my dad and I did make it to the Stan Lee panel. He is as legendary as they say. I was just smiling the whole time. Like, that's him! I can see him from here! We're in the same room! So that was awesome. And that's the last thing that we did at Comic-Con because we didn't go back on Sunday. It was such a cool convention. So much fun, and now we get to look through the random things that I collected, yay! First random thing that I collected, posters, and lots of them. Just like a bunch of comic book characters, and it has some promotional stuff on it, so I might just cut that out. The CW booth was giving away posters for like every single show that they play. So this is a Legends of Tomorrow poster. Here's the flash, and I also got Supergirl, because I went on a few separate days, so every day I snuck another one. This is a poster I'll probably be really glad to have at some point. Tiana really wanted to meet the author of some of her favorite Star Wars books, and so I went with and I got a signed poster because they were just giving them away. So I have that, and I have not read this book or any others that he has written, so I should really get on that. This was the guide. These are the confusing maps. As you will see, they make no sense, but somehow we lived. I got a lot of random just pieces of paper. Everywhere we turned, 
people were trying to give us things, so we just accepted. This is a nice bookmark. This one was funny because we were just walking by and then this nice lady is like, would you like a bookmark? We're like, oh, sure. We look at it and it has a zombie face on it. So that was a fun surprise. Oh, we got invited to an after party. That was a first. Apparently epic rap battles of history was gonna be there. And we totally could have gone. Here's a fun sticker. Reading is my superpower. While this is true, I also have a lot of other superpowers. So I don't like to just say reading is my superpower because I can also levitate. Here's another fun sticker. Here's a fun bookmark that reminds me both of Edward Cullen's eyes and Captain Hook's on Once Upon a Time. Oh, I got a Supergirl tattoo. I forgot about that. I should really wear that. Cause as I said, I have many powers. Then we just got some business cards. The 501st Legion were the people who were putting on the Star Wars exhibit. Everyone who was a part of it has these cool business cards. I have so many things. This is so fun. I also got this little pin and it says, I love my library, which is true. There was also a place where you could make your own buttons. So I made this one. This is the business card of the person who was doing the amazing museum worthy art in gold so if you want to look at it go to this website maybe and i'm sure they'll have better pictures than i took oh this was another really cool artist how do i explain this they took historical war photos and photoshopped in war photos from fictional stories this is a good example right there there's a TIE fighter in like World War II or something. One booth was just giving away these epic stickers and they were all like America related and one of them said like something about bacon. They were very good. But I thought this one was cute so I got it. They were all free. They're like, yeah, take as many as you want. And so we took quite a few. This is a cool one. It's like the grid. I was hoping to get more free books than I did because I've seen people come away from Comic-Con with like tons of free books. Refocus, there you go. But I couldn't find them anywhere and I didn't wanna just go up to people and ask, hey, do you wanna give me some free books? We just waited until people offered us free books. So finally, I got the Shannara Chronicles. I think this is the first book in the series. I've started watching the TV show and it was very entertaining. So I got one and I was like, dad, get one for me. And he's like, you already have one. And I said, but I want two. So we got two, cause like I said, I was trying to collect as many free things as I could find. And then we were offered something else and I got one and I'm like, dad, get me another. So we got two. I think that it has the first couple chapters of a bunch of different books so that you can read through and decide if there are any that you wanna go read the whole thing of. If it's not, I don't know what this is. And the final thing that I took away from this was actually the first thing I received. Buy book. And that is my press pass. I was very excited when I got approved for this because I did not expect to be. I have a really small channel. On my application, they said that they were going to maintain a high standard of excellence when awarding press passes. And so I was like, okay, I'm still gonna try. Why not? So they made an exception. <laughs> Thank you, Comic-Con, for the badge. I had so much fun. It was a full couple of days, but I got to do so many things. Thanks for watching this. Let me know if you've ever been to a Comic-Con before. If you have, follow-up question. What is your favorite free thing that you have received? Mine is probably these four books that I do not need. My name is Lily, my channel is LilyY. Thank you very much for watching and you will see me next time.